I've wanted to make a hinge die and it's been on my list for a long time and to fit a quick video in before Christmas I thought it'd make a good little project. It's pretty cool how it works, it's straightforward and it can be made with basic tools. I'm using D2 steel as that's what I have but I reckon you could make this with mild steel and it would work fine. I'm making the die around the steel that I'll be using to make the hinges. It's 1.6 millimeters thick or 16 gauge. Um, for the pins I'll use these framing nails that are three millimeters. The first thing to do is to drill a hole for the roll of the hinge and to determine the outside diameter of the roll I need to add two thicknesses of the steel plus the pin. That gives me 6.2 millimeters, so I'll use a 7 millimeter drill bit and that should give me enough clearance for the hinge to swivel. Next I need to make a cut down to the hole right on the edge of it. The best way to do this would be with a slitting saw on the middle of the machine, but I don't have one. I could do it with an angle grinder, but the cutoff discs I have are one millimeter thick, so I'll use my metal cutting circular saw with a 1.5 millimeter thick blade. I've clamped a piece of angle as a fence to guide the saw. I'm very unsure about cutting this D2 steel with this saw, but anyway, let's give it a go. It's working, but I don't think it's happy. I don't think it's the type of steel either. It's struggling more with the partial depth of cut. And I reckon this type of saw is for cutting all the way through the material in one cut. Before I destroyed my blade, I decided to finish it with an angle grinder. It doesn't have to be crazy accurate as long as it's pretty good. The main thing is the cut needs to transition into the hole smoothly without any kind of step. I'll clean it up with a needle file and blend that transition. Mine really isn't too bad at all and it only took a few minutes to refine it. I keep filing and testing with a piece of the 1.6 millimeter thick steel until it fits just about right. It's not perfect and it would be much better machined on a milling machine, but I reckon it should work. So I'll do a test. I've cut a square blank and the first thing I need to do is slightly round over the one edge. To do that, I've radiused the corner on this piece of mild steel. The end just needs to be curved over ever so slightly and this will help it form better inside the die. Before I put it in the die, I'll add a smear of oil on either side of the piece where the roll will be formed. I'm using the fly press for this, but any sort of press could be used. I give it a couple of control pushes and then I put a nail in to help keep the roll neat and then finish forming it until the roll meets the face of the hinge. This is only a test piece and there's a bit more work to making an actual hinge but I'll get to that shortly. The barrel needs drilling out just to clean it up and for that I'm using a 1 8 inch bit which is 3.2 millimeters and will give the 3 millimeter pin a little clearance. I reckon that works great so I'll cut the jig from the bar and then clean it up on the belt grinder and then next I'll do another test but this time instead of using the fly press I'll use a vise just to see if that's possible. That's working absolutely fine, no problem at all. It's not quite as easy as the fly press but for these small pieces it works well enough. The most difficult part was seeing what I was doing with the camera in the way. I was going to heat treat the die, but I don't think there's really any need. I may do it later on though, when I'm next set up for heat treating, when I'm heat treating something else. The test pieces worked well, so next I'll make some actual hinges. First I'll cut a strip of steel and then I'll cut the blanks from that. And to do that I'm using my shears that I made in a past video. If you haven't seen it already and you're interested, I'll put a link above.
I'll make a pair of hinges so I need four blanks. I then mark out the hole positions and the cutouts needed for the two sides of the hinge to fit together and both sides get marked out exactly the same. I'm thinking about doing some scrap wood challenge videos in the new year. Let me know if that's something you'd like to see and any ideas of what you'd like to see me make. I'm deburring one side and then countersinking the other. Now they're ready to cut out and I keep to the one side of the mark line on the one piece and then I keep to the opposite side of the line for the other. I can't quite get it all with this bandsaw but it takes less than a minute to file the last bit down. Next I'll refine the shape and get them close to fitting. They will need a little more filing after the rolls have been formed so I'm just getting them close for now. On the second hinge I thought I'd show that you don't need a bandsaw to cut them out and I reckon it's just about as quick with a hacksaw. When putting the bend on the edge, it needs to be done in the right direction to leave the countersink holes on the inside of the hinge. I said earlier that I reckon you could make the die from mild steel. It obviously wouldn't last as long as heat treated high carbon steel, but if you use plenty of oil, I reckon you get a heap of hinges from it and it's not difficult to make another when it's needed. As I mentioned earlier, they need a little refining to fit together, but that only takes a few seconds with a file. The ends of the roll slightly bulge out on the ends when they get formed. I'll grind the pin down so it's just slightly sticking out on either end of the hinge. And the last thing to do is pin the ends of the pins over with a ball peen hammer to stop them from falling out. I reckon that's pretty cool and they really are very easy to make. I won't take you through the whole process but next I made a butterfly hinge which is basically the same thing but with a slightly different shape. That's the two halves of the hinge and here they are with the rolls formed. I'm really liking these ones and I reckon I could find a project to use them on. I'm not going to finish them in this video but you could just paint them or they'd look great blackened which I've showed in past videos. They could also be made from brass which I think would look great. I made one last hinge and this was to try and make something that was very quick and easy if I ever need to make a decent amount of them for a future project. Apart from cutting the blank first, there's no more cutting out or filing, it's just two blanks with rolls formed and then fitted together with a pin. You may have noticed that there aren't any holes in there, I made one first and the holes created a weak point but it's just as easy to drill them out afterwards. Each of the leaves will need the countersink putting on opposite faces. 
I've put together some examples on how I would use them. The first one is the butt hinge, and I've chopped that in, else the gap would be too big between the door and the frame. And this hinge was made for 19 millimeter stock, so it's a bit big for this plywood, but you get the idea. The next one is the butterfly hinge. That's very easy. That just gets screwed to the front because we want to show the hinge. And the last one, that's very easy. No chopping in. It just gets screwed to either side. Hopefully you enjoyed the video and you found it useful. Let me know if you give it a go and how you get on with it. I'd like to wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Thanks for all your support. I really appreciate it. And I'll see you next year on the next one.